Hello everyone, this is Ali from Viceroy Abarshlangli here. Uh, I'm getting loads and loads of requests to show you how we do our base onion gravy. Now this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what we have done here, we chopped a couple of onion, as uh, you can see in this uh, the pan here, uh, about a kg of onion, there we are. Excuse me, we have some vegetable oil here, we have carrots, chopped up carrot, green pepper, red pepper, a bit of chopped up coriander, I got some peeled tomato, you can get them in any supermarket in a small tin, some salt, and we have ginger and garlic paste here blend we blend it in a blender and uh, chef Imran is going to demonstrate show you how we start making our the base gravy all of you waiting for that's it let's go and show you how we the base gravy is done now it's tipping to a tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of mix, ginger and garlic, two tablespoons of ginger and garlic there, it's about four tablespoons of vegetable oil, then it's tipping the, the peeled tomato in. And now it's going to tip the uh, green chopped green pepper. Coriander. Chopped red pepper. And a slice of carrots. There we are, it's putting the slice of carrots in. Now it's putting uh, a pint, about a, just over a pint of water. Okay. There we are, and we're going to go with it to the cooker now. So we'll cook this on a high heat for a how long? And about an hour or so. We'll put the lid on. There we go. And the next part we'll show you step by step the next procedure. As you can see, we're about 10 minutes into the cooking. 
10 minutes, just over 10 minutes into the cooking procedure now. And as you can see, the onions and carrots and green pepper is slowly melting. And we will do the same procedure for about 40, 40 minutes or so. Back to the video, we're about 25 minutes into the cooking procedure. As you can see, uh, the, the chopped onion has is almost melted away. And also the green pepper and the red pepper plus the carrots are slowly melting. We'll do this for about another 20-25 minutes cooking and then we show you the we'll show you the next procedure into making our base gravy. This is the the most sought after ingredients in the Indian cuisine or Indian restaurant trade. And every most of you wanted to know how do we make this and we are showing you slowly and So let's wait for a few more minutes until you guess and we'll show you the next procedure of how this ingredients turns into our base gravy. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming to the final stages of our, of our um, the gravy. Now Chef Imran is going to put some, is putting two, is putting, sprinkling some mixed powder. Now he's putting two tablespoons of mixed powder in. Now he will, is topping one, two, three, let's put five tablespoons of coronation milk. We just tip five tablespoon of coronation milk. You can substitute the coronation milk. You can put cream. Instead of putting coronation milk, you can put single or double cream in there. There you go. And as you can see, he's given a good old lovely mix. He's mixing the ingredients together now. Looks all creamy and spicy. Now the next procedure. How long are we gonna keep cook this? Five. Well, about five minutes cooking. When we add the the spice and your creams and your coronation milk. You don't have to put coronation milk and the cream together. You just put substitute one. If you put Either you can use single cream or coronation milk. And it's total cooking time about 45 to 45 minutes to an hour. We leave this for about five minutes and then we will show you the next procedure which will we'll put them in a blender and blend it and that will become your base gravy for all your chicken and meat dishes right uh, here we are You can use a hand blender or you can use one of these the non-commercial blender at home you have and um, there we go
Have we done our mixing? Now, Chef Ian is going to show you a final product. You can loosen by adding a bit more water to it. If you think this gravy is thick, then you can loosen it by adding a bit more water to your desired taste. And that's how we do our base gravy. So it's now at the moment it's quite thick. You can always add some water to make it a bit more runnier according to your taste and that's how we just told you how to make the most popular ingredients we have in the Indian restaurant is the base gravy there we are and the further videos will make you some more in the future to show you even more lovely one second thank you so much for watching this video